a truck tent, I guess that's what you call it. It is so roomy. Hey guys, I'm Mark with Art of RVing. If you're not a sub, become a sub somewhere around here. I have no idea where it's at. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you. And hit us up on Instagram, the Art of RVing. Today, sisters on the fly with a fly, get it, tent with a fly. Amazing, and a couple really cool hacks that I've never seen before. So, hang in there, here we go. And I have here Miss Betty, right? Yes. Betty, yeah. uh, what's your number, Betty? 5469. 5469. Sisters on the fly. My first sisters on the fly. That is not a camper, it's a tent. Yes. So <laughs> this should be a good walk around. Hang tight. Okay, here's Miss Betty. And she decided to go with the Kodiak canvas tent. I see. Why is that? Why did you do that? Uh, a number of reasons. I like canvas as opposed to the nylon tents. It's softer, quieter. Oh, that's interesting. So it's quieter. Oh, yes. Oh, I've never heard that before. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, it's, I went with the truck bed tent because uh -huh. I like being up off the ground with the fire ants. And Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Yeah, not a welcome. More feeling of security. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah. And oh, I see it's got a window right there. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And look how much room there is on the top. It's just like a. Yes, I can stand up inside. Wow. I'm, I'm five foot seven, and I oh. can stand up in it. Well, that's interesting. It looks like a covered wagon. Yes. In it a does. way, it's uh -huh. it's got that shape to it. Yeah. How cool. Pioneer woman. Pioneer <laughs> woman. All right, all right, let's walk around just here, just a tad. So here's the back of the opening on it. It's got. Oh, the regular canvas door with the screen insert. Um, I like <laughs> to have, I use nylon netting with the chain in the bottom. Let me look. So you, did, is, there, is that out there already or did you put no, it there? No, I, I, I hemmed it and put the so chain So you hemmed it and put a chain in it uh -huh. so that it's so heavier. It's oh, that's yeah, smart. It Super smart, yeah. And that way I can just uh, do it like this when the weather's nice and I don't have to zip and unzip all the time. Oh, how it. smart is that? And the chain keeps it down and you tuck it over on the sides and then you don't have to keep unzipping. It's a pain in the rear. It's, and it actually has like a little porch on it. Yes. Yeah, how cool. Eyebrow gives it a little eyebrow. protection. Yeah. yeah, and also weather. If you have to put your shoes on out here or something when it's raining and you still have a little, oh, I love that. Okay, and did you make your uh, little steps here also? Yes. Well, Tell they, us about that. Okay, these these are actually two storage boxes uh -huh. that that hold all my miscellaneous gear. Right. And then when I set up and unpack the boxes, uh -huh. then I just rope them together and I took up these tops that I made. Wow, multifunctional is the way. Since, since I'm elderly, <laughs> I made this um, PVC handhold. Yes. It's obviously not strong enough to really hold someone, but it just gives me a little bit of a balance point. absolutely right in and, out. and so you use your storage of course every single time you come right right and then you just put them together with the rope like right. that mm -hmm. man that is just really really a good idea I love that and so then all right and so basically then she just runs a cord it looks like all oh, over here here's her 110 cord yep I see and now okay baby let's check it out on the inside <clears throat> there she goes. Oh, I love this. I can stand up here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you can. Whoop, you have to <laughs> That's okay. I and love now, that. Uh, and so, how did you do your bed? It's it's just a regular Coleman cot with a memory foam mattress. Oh. Very can I pull this up? Sure. Uh, I store my clothes and other things underneath. Oh, good storage underneath. Yeah, Huge storage amount of storage there. Yeah, and then I, I use uh, this little cargo net for the things that I'm getting into all the time, like my hat, my iPad, and stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's a great idea. And uh, this, this is my sink. Oh, show us your sink. This is an oil change pan. No. And uh, I can I put water in here, brush my teeth, wash off, and then it drains into here. So this is my gray water storage. How'd so you learn about that? Did you think that up or no, did you see no, it? No, I, I saw it somewhere. Oh my gosh, what a great <laughs> idea. This is my porta pot. Oh. Oh, did you make that cover for it? Yes, I made the cover for it. Oh, okay. turn it so they can see the top. It's really cute what she's oh. done. She's put little checks all over the top. You're quite the same shoes there. <laughs> and then this, this is just that uh, uh, children's play yeah. flooring. Yeah, and exactly. That's, that's great for uh, cushioning. 
Uh, I said, yes, yeah. of course. And then you've got your, look how big this is in here. Yeah, and there's oh windows. Oh, how awesome is that? On both sides. And, uh, uh, so the cross ventilation this, in here. You've got this window up here, and then if you have, which I do, but it doesn't matter if you do or not, but, but there's a, if you have a pass-through window here, yes. you can run your air conditioning or um, emergency if you if you're in a real pinch if you're panicked right. you can go you, through you there can, and yeah. get into mm -hmm. your truck yeah. right yeah, yeah that unzips oh how that opening like that how interesting is that so you could do an air conditioner in there yes. if you I wanted mean, yeah, to you could put yeah. a, a tube or something too oh absolutely yeah. man it's so big in here and there's yeah. the other window for the cross ventilation yes mm -hmm. i see huh well, this thing, I tell you, I can tell by the canvas, this thing is well made. Yes, it is. Yeah, I can, this is not a cheap thing, I'm telling you. And so I guess this is the support here for, yes. that she has on the tent itself. And then it looks as though she's just clamped that down right there. Right, now, in, in, in the, the clamps that come with this rail are quite small seat clamps. Mm -hmm. I wanted the option, <clears throat> I have a roll-up tonneau cover. Uh, for the bed for the bed yes uh -huh. so right that requires this rail so oh. it required me to get a deeper C clamp I to see hold I see what you're saying if sure. I didn't have this rail mm -hmm. it would be a very tiny little C clamp to hold these rails I up. see what you're saying but sure I if this is a little bulky mm -hmm. but I wanted the option of when I'm traveling to put yeah. everything down and cover it up right, so the whole tent collapses down goes in the bed of the truck and then the tonneau cover comes over and protects it exactly Dude, <laughs> oh my god anything else that I've got in here too. And we've all been driving in the rain. Yes. Yeah, and when you get there, you don't want your tent wet. Right. <laughs> a little different than a camper. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got to protect where you're going to be sleeping in it's, here, right? It's a much, it's much like a, a pop-up camper, you know, the, the canvas, uh, little camper trailers. You know, it really is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, uh, I can't get over the amount of room that's in there. I mean, man, it's course, just... If there's two people, then you, you know, you put a queen-size, uh, air mattress in here or something. Right, and if you don't like them, you put a tent and say, this is your tent, sleep outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just, thank you so much. We You're appreciate welcome. you. And what's your number again? 5469. Uh, 5469, you are awesome. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. See you down the road. Okay. All right.